Hi, John. Um, I really wanted to talk to you quickly about what you were seeing on that play that led to McKenzie's goal. I mean, you had Dylan Simpson all over you and you just knew the right place to get it to McKenzie. Yeah, I was I was honestly thinking that I wanted to shoot. I wanted to shoot that whole time. And then I saw Mac right behind me. Um, it was good communication on his part and good finish. Yeah, and I noticed that uh, the past few games, especially the team as a whole, has this great communication, uh, knowing where each other's at, really being able to see the play on the fly. Um, can you kind of speak to that and how the team's able to do that right now? Yeah, it's uh, it's a big part of the game, and uh, we've come a long way. I think we still have have a little bit of ways to go. I mean, we can't talk, never talk too much, so. Yeah, and then uh, Coach has been saying a lot about taking each game, game by game, one day at a time. Uh, do you think that's helped you guys kind of prepare for this uh, incredible grind that's going to be coming up over the next uh, month and a half? Yeah, for sure. Um, like you said, it's a pretty, pretty big grind here to finish the season. So just taking it one day at a time, one game at a time. Um, yeah. And now um, just kind of tell me what you were seeing about tonight's game. Like the, what was it that allowed you guys to kind of dominate Cleveland? Uh, we were just consistently playing simple and uh, everyone bought in. Everyone was playing hard and just doing the, the little things right. Yeah, perfect. That's all for me. Thank you. Hey, Boutrous. So, you know, you signed a PTO today. You're in practice and you're in the lineup. I mean, how's, how, how's your head when everything's moving so quickly like this? Uh, it was exciting. I found out this morning around like 730, coach called me. So I instantly jumped in my car, you know, packed everything up, called the family and my little brother goes to Grand Valley. So it was, it was nice. He got to come to the game. The whole family was here. So it was an exciting day for me. I was very happy. For sure. Kind of going into that, you know, you grew up in Michigan, played at MSU. Does it make your Griffin debut extra special being a local guy? Yeah, it for sure does. I mean, I came and watched these games when I was younger, like when McCarty got sent down and they were rolling. It was, so I came to a lot of these games as a kid. So it was kind of cool to be able to be out there playing like play on the same ice they did for sure and uh so for griffins fans kind of just starting to get to know you how would you describe your game and what you can bring to the table for this team as they battle for the playoffs i'm a stay-at-home defenseman I'm, i like to be physical i like to move the puck quick up to the forwards as fast as i can i block a lot of shots and i'll jump up if, if it's available but if not it's my number one priority is being solid in the d zone and just moving pucks up quick awesome thanks a lot welcome to grand rapids thank you again Hi, Tyler. Um, do you really want to just kind of walk us through those goals you had tonight? Yeah. Um, you know, the first one, four and four. Um, you know, Puck was behind the net last year, called the reverse, great play. I was able to beat my guy up the ice. Reno made a good play um, up the wall to me, and then I had speed, so I figured I'd deliver it to the net. And to be honest, it surprised me a little bit. It was uh, pretty far out, but uh, I think just a tricky shot he didn't see. and. Um, was fortunate enough to find the back of the net. Um, and then the second one, our, our, our fresh call up, Boutrous Kafari makes a huge hit at the blue line, causes a turnover. Um, Riley Barber chips the puck up the middle. And I was able to have a little bit of a lane and use my legs and speed to get uh, to, to break away. And then uh, was able to find the back of the net there too as well. So it was a, it was a good overall night. You know, um, those two goals and basically all the goals tonight had a lot of great communication and I've seen that a lot in the past uh, few games for you guys. What uh, kind of speak to the co communication and camaraderie that's happening on the ice to make these plays work? Yeah, I think, you know, it's been, uh, especially with our power play, it's been a struggle, you know, most of the season, but uh, you know, we actually were, we're top three in the league and, and, and chances generated on the power play. So it was only a matter of time before we were going to start finding the back of the net. And I think, you know, just playing unselfish and, and, and moving the puck around and, and, and yes, the game's significantly easier when you're talking and communicating. And, but thankfully, you know, the puck was able to find the back of the net. Some plays that we've been on the wrong side of in the past where we were able to cash in and anytime your power play can score two goals and, and, and kick off the game is a huge advantage. Yeah. Now coach has been uh, kind of telling us that the way he's approaching every game is it's game by game, um, day by day. Is that kind of helping you guys get in the mindset to hit the ground running when the next month and a half of games just kind of goes off? Yeah, for sure. I think that's that's all you can do. You know, we're we're in a playoff spot, you know, chasing teams down and, and trying to set, gain separation on others. So I think you have to take it day by day. And, you know, like we, we left our, our last loss there and then moved 
focused on Cleveland and, and now we're focused on Chicago. So yeah, you just got to take it day by day and, and, and just keep pushing forward as a group, you know, who's ever playing. And we lost two significant part, pieces of our lineup in, in Hiroshi and Chris Golo. So a lot of guys stepped up and I think it's just that next man up uh, mentality mixed with a little bit of day by day. Yeah. Perfect. That's all for me. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Next up, we have Andrew Rinaldi from field pass hockey. Tyler, talk a little bit about just the growth of your game this year from from past seasons. I mean, you're just having a career year offensively, but not only that. I mean, Coach Simon trusts you in, in, in all situations. I mean, has it been your conditioning? Is it coaching? Is it a, a mental aspect of the game or some other factor that's kind of helped you take the extra step this year? Yeah, for sure. Uh, thanks for the question. Um, you know, to, to be honest, it's just just playing hard, I think. You know, if you have a foundation of, 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 of playing hard, I think it's a, it's a way to earn the coach's trust. And, you know, I'm fortunate I've been able to be here for, I think, on my fourth year now. And I was just telling uh, telling Bob Kayser, um, you know, this is the first year where, where I haven't been bouncing up and down and around. It's been kind of normal and I've been able to uh, get comfortable and, and, and you know, just just play without worrying about any of that stuff. And, and yeah, it's been great. I've, I've gotten a lot of opportunity. Um, you know, there's been a lot of call ups. And, and so for guys like me, you know, I get moved up the lineup or whatever it may be, I, I got to produce. And it's just kind of been my mindset, just be ready for whatever and just keep playing hard. I think, you know, my foundation is moving my legs and, and playing hard and the rest will take care of itself. Absolutely. And, you know, growing up in Metro Detroit, does it uh, make it a little extra special to have this, this kind of success locally? Or are you just more excited just to be thriving at the AHL level? Yeah, it's, it's a little bit of both. You know, I've always told myself I, I, I thought I belonged here, you know, in years past when, when I would get sent down, I, I knew I'd be back kind of thing. But yeah, you know, growing up and being around this organization my whole life, it is very special. And, you know, being so close to home, a lot of people get to enjoy it with me. A lot of, a lot of friends, a lot of family come and watch. So every night I got someone in, in the crowd for me, uh, which has been great. And yeah, I absolutely love playing for this organization. It's the only organization I know. And and it just happened to be my uh, childhood organization I grew up watching. So, yeah, it's been special. I'll never take a day for granted. I absolutely love being in Grand Rapids, and it's, it's been awesome so far. Thanks a lot, Tyler. Thank you. Hey, Coach. So, you know, we, we got to have to talk about that power play there. You know, it feels like you guys are finally getting the breaks tonight, but I noticed one of the changes that you made in the lineup was uh, Jared McIsaac kind of quarterbacking that first power play unit. Just talk a bit about the growth of his game since the opening of the season, be given the bigger minutes in these big situations. Uh, you know, it's funny. We were talking about that before the game, just talking about Jared's development this year. And, you know, we, we were just looking at numbers and kind of quietly has put together a pretty solid season. And obviously we still have 20-some games left. But, uh, you know, he's he's earned the opportunity. And I think he's learned a lot, honestly. I think he's learned a lot from, uh, from Ryan Murphy in that department. So, uh you know, credits are our older guys helping these young kids along. Um, and, you know, we've been kind of switching back and forth and, you know, whoever's deserved of the chance to go out there first will, will make that adjustment. And sometimes one guy has it, sometimes, sometimes you, you don't, but uh, I, I think that tonight, I don't know what we were, we ended up scoring three power play goals, but uh, throughout the course of the season, our numbers aren't indicative of our power play success. And when we look at the, I guess the the analytics of it, we were generating a ton of chances. We just didn't bear down on opportunities. And tonight was one of those nights where maybe we were rewarded for chances that probably shouldn't have gone in. Um, where in games past, we had some pretty prime opportunities that, that didn't go in. So hockey is a funny way of working out. And it's a good uh, good game for us to hopefully get a little confidence from and, and, and build from there. Absolutely. Um, yeah, Tara Rossi called up earlier today. You didn't have – you know, another one of your big guns in, in Crisco, but the boys responded anyway with six goals. You're always talking about, how, you know, having all lines going in order to succeed, and it's just not a one-man show, you know. What's the difference in a game like this tonight being so one-sided in that regard other than, you know, maybe a few mental meltdowns from Cleveland? Uh, well, again, we're a type of team we talked about it the other day, and I thought, uh, you know, it's funny, Darren McCarty came in the other day and gave a nice little chat with our group, and very genuine, very uh, kind of just off the cuff, just about having an appreciation for doing the little things well and, you know, going to war for each other. And I think that uh, to hear it from a guy like that that's had that much success kind of resonated with our group. Um, but I, I think we're learning as a group, as a team, that we need everyone to contribute. We can't be a one- or two-line team. We have to have contributions from everyone 
uh, that that's playing at night uh, that night. And I thought that uh, you know tonight was one of those examples. And uh, I don't think their goalie had the best night, but uh, you know those are nights we got to take advantage of. Mm-hmm. So and Butcher Scafari is another name coming in on a PTO from Toledo. And you know at this point it seems like half the Walleye roster has spent some time up here with protocols and injuries and everything else that's been going on, but. These players have been coming in and they make contributions immediately. And Gafari has been no exception. How, how do you and the rest of the coaching staff kind of work these guys in so seamlessly? Well, it's again, it's, we give them a little bit of a groundwork to, to kind of learn our systems a little bit, a little bit of structure, but at the end of the day, you, you can kind of grow with them as, as they're here and you don't want to give them too much overload and not have them use their hockey sense and their intuition to make plays. So, uh, I thought that he did a – I think Butchers did a really good job of coming in, keeping things simple. He was physical, uh, did a good job defensively, um, had a couple big hits, one that led directly to a goal. Uh, and, again, he's earned the opportunity. He's uh, he's done a heck of a job down in Toledo, and we're glad that uh, he's made – and that's that's the best part of our jobs when you give and afford people opportunities. When you see him make the most of them, it's great. So, uh, you know, credit to him for being ready. Uh, he drove over this morning from Toledo, didn't pregame skate, and he – Seem to have a pretty solid first game, so we're happy for him. Thanks a lot, Coach. Sure. Next up, Elaine Shercliffe. Hey, Coach. Um, if you could quickly just kind of tell me how you think um, a – sorry, my <laughs> – You're the right. Team has, the team has been um, aggressive in a very good way. Uh, you know, their hits have led to, like you said, a goal um, in – Donovan Zabrango stood Jay Christensen up at the blue line, prevented a massive breakaway. How do you feel like those kind of plays are going to help you throughout the rest of the season? Well, I, I, I do think that we have an identity. We have to have an identity of a little bit of a lunch pail group, a little bit of a blue collar mentality. You know, when we play hard and we play simple, uh, we talked about, uh, we talked about just playing, with a little bit more consistent simplicity. That was kind of the, the slogan for tonight. And when we do that, we're, we're a good team. But when we stray away from that plan, we try to do too much, we don't manage the puck well, uh, that's when things kind of go sideways for us. So I think when we play a little bit more predictable to each other, we, we usually have success or at least we're in the fight. So uh, I thought that tonight we did a really good job for the first two periods of being consistently simplistic with our approach, getting pucks deep, managing the puck. And obviously after the second period, when we're up uh, five, six, nothing. It's, it is human nature to let up a little bit. We did get a little bit sloppy, but uh, you know, for all things considered, I thought, uh, I thought we did a pretty good job of executing our game plan tonight. Perfect. And then uh, one last one for me, Riley Barber has five points since returning to the lineup. If you can kind of just say how he's been able to provide um, positively for the team and how his recovery from injury is going. Well, again, when he came back, he was out for a long time, five, six weeks, whatever it was. Um, And we threw him right into three games and three nights. So that's a tough three games and three nights for a guy that plays the minutes that we need him to play for our team to have success and play the right way for a team to have success, you know, that, that's a tough, uh, that's a tough weekend there when we played Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then when we played last Wednesday, so he played four games and six nights and he, he struggled a little bit, but he, he's starting to find his legs. And I think that the biggest thing for Riley is having the confidence uh, to, to get his legs going to, to compete and get in battle situations because, you know, it, the injury they had, it might bother him for a while, but uh, he, he's done a great job of, making sure that uh, he's not getting too low with the lows and he's going to make mistakes uh, coming back. He hasn't played in a while. So getting the rust off a little bit, I think that's what you're starting to see. And he's a he's a big part of the reason why we've had success, why we had success last year, and he's a big part of our offense uh, moving forward. So it's great to see him uh, be rewarded and, and get on the score sheet tonight and, and since he's been back. Yeah. Thank you. Yep.